Hey guys, what's up? Um, so this is The Council, episode 1, part 2. So last time we met Elizabeth Adams, she was ill. We saw George Washington and the Duchess having some secret conversations, and now they for some reason trust us to find our room. And, well, we all know that I'm gonna snoop everywhere. <laughs> so here we go. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Ooh. Hello. Can I bug you? I cannot. Okay. I forgot where I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> I'll just wander until I find it. It's fine. This is fine. Wow, this place is ridiculous. It's so fancy. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, that French? Us? Sir Jacques Peru? Nope. There's not really anything for me to click on over here. Ooh, there's stuff. What is this? A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. No. Oh. an elixir. Here's all your negative alterations. Okay. The quorum guide. Hmm. We can learn things from that. Oops. Johann von Wulner. Nope. What is our name again? Oh no. <laughs> I need to recover some energy. Maybe sleeping will help? I don't know. Oh, I can't go in there either. I wonder if I can explore these during the day. Although I imagine if they catch President me, George Washington. It wouldn't be very nice. So. Still come on to wit. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Monsignor, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Huh, that's me. Oh, we're Louis. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot our name. <laughs> right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. Well, obviously we're gonna But if I this. open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? He'll never know. <laughs> Ooh. Can't do that. Oh no. Well, he said it's a list of people, right? So, let's keep his trust. Can't wait to open it, but I gave my word to Piaggi, so. Oh, these paintings are disturbing. I'll wait until I hand it to Mother. Wow. Nice room. 
Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Yeah. Go to bed. I don't want to go to bed yet. Don't tell me. Carmelite water gives you the focus state. Your next skill will use will cost no effort. Cannot carry more than five. Gotcha. Gosh, this camera. <laughs> Can I help this anyway? St. Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Hmm, what you gonna say about this one? Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't <laughs> like to be his son. St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy. Before superior voices. The conversion of St. Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented herself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Oof. All of these seem to have a common theme of violence. Inferno by Dante. Oh. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. Can't unlock it. Wow, 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 wow. It's so fancy. Oh, I didn't find all the clues. Should I assign now? I kind of want to. I have four points. Let's level up that one because I want to pick that lock. <laughs> I don't know. Um, ooh, divert people's attention, change the subject, and avoid questions. Um, I guess I should just go ahead and spend all of them. Why not? Equipping manuscripts. Here you can choose what to read during the adventure. Each manuscript you read confers skill points at the end of the quest. Okay. The encyclopedia. Okay, I have to assemble all the pages. <laughs> Rules of civility and decent behavior. Plus one skill point etiquette. The art of knowing people by their physi physiognomy? Physiognomy? Yeah. Plus one skill point in psychology. Parallel lives. One skill point in conviction. Ooh. Um. Etiquette seems pretty important, but let's go with psychology.
Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of de Richet's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Oh. Hmm. That might come in handy. That Louis grows accepted. impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. <laughs> I'll have one of my men Ooh. escort you back. His eyes were terrible. Don't try yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is the never hair? too late. Oh, no. And we have much to discuss. <laughs> one last move? He's not happy. Oh no. Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. So you often throw down Come on, take a seat. <laughs> oh, that was Napoleon. Alright. That explains it. <laughs> Very close to his uh, depictions. A little nighttime stroll, Mr. President. There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Ooh. The President is coming to see us. <gasps> In an awkward state. I'm coming! Just hurry to answer the door, Mr. President. Hello. Excuse me, am I bothering you? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not in the least. <laughs> I'm so nice Is something wrong? You know. I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Uh. I, I bumped into her in the small salon before. Well. She is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, Aww. John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Oh. Yeah, that's bizarre. Well, Fair I mean, enough. She's close. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. So that's to get about your vision. Hell, George Washington. Oh no, what should we do? I kind of want to help George, because that sounds fun. What would you guys do? Let's help George. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. Oh no, I have to find that. 
downstairs. Oh, okay, well. Are you eavesdropping? <sighs> You're a man of the cloth, how dare you? Ah, my son! Oh, you are a godsend! What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe a Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug. A Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Government. You should do something, my son. Bonaparte? Or... Why should I be the one to go? Yeah, why should I be the one to go? Come on, this guy's a cardinal? <laughs> Weren't you about to enter the room, Your Eminence? Oh, no, 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 no. I was just uh, passing by. But since I do happen to be here, shall we go in together now? Uh, I rather go and find help. It's safer. Well, let's see. It's always the same ones who get dumped in it. Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. No. <laughs> okay. Who do you think you are? There are multiple paths to reach your objective. Oh, okay. For me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. But we're not in France. <laughs> Hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business! I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave! Oh. What the hell's going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am! Stop! I beg you! I, I didn't mean to! Don't hit me, please, sir! Uh, shit! Uh. If I step in, Adam might just run back uh -uh. to your room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's uh. gonna suffer. Damn it, what should I do? Uh. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Stephen. Uh, you uh, filthy uh, whore! Up, 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 up. I apologize, have mercy. Please have mercy. Ah. No. No. I apologize. No, no, no. Mercy, have mercy. No, no, no. Where's that smart mouth now? I'll teach you a little respect. No. Huh? No. Not My mother's told me often enough. No. Sometimes huh? the end does justify the means. Uh -huh. I hope really I wouldn't though. have to apply that rule, but at least no. Washington will have enough no. time. Oh no, we're horrible people. No. Oh no. I can't. Oh, given the mess, talking's not going to help anything. Okay, well we definitely lost her trust. Shack Peril, Peru. Well, did you get time to search the room? Yes, I found out many things. Good. Did Elizabeth give you any trouble? Elizabeth? No. Well, you could have mentioned she was the raving maniac, huh? What do you mean? She was with a Frenchman. He was about to beat her when I arrived. What the devil are you talking about? I thought he was going to kill the poor girl. Did you intervene? I did what was necessary to give you enough time to search your room. Good work, my <laughs> friend. I knew that I what could come from you. So tell me, did you find any information? Oh, yes. What I found is likely to upset you. Tell me What anyway. do you mean by that? Elizabeth is indeed the daughter of John Adams. Why pass her off as dead? I found her medical file. It appears that for many years, your mother was her personal doctor. From what I read, she behaved more like a butcher than a doctor. What are you- I'm not a child. What's going on here? John believed that his daughter was possessed. He appealed to your mother to save her, but the treatment she inflicted on the poor child... My God. Look, stop beating around the bush. What exactly did she do to her? Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? M my mother would never do something like that. 
But she did. And with the blessing of the Order. No, no, she, she wouldn't go that far. Prove it. Show me that file. I left it in her room so as not to arouse suspicion. My mother is not a monster. I do not doubt that your mother meant well. But the techniques described in the file, it, it is pure torture. Should we accept or refuse? Yeah. Uh, please. I need some time alone. I have seen some horrors in my time. But if what is written in these damned documents is true, be brave, my boy. Explore down here. Golden elixir. Hmm. I'll keep it for later. Ooh. Oh. Can I see anything interesting over here? Just whale. Whale. <laughs> Don't understand how I would be afraid of that just falling. Okay, back to bed. That's not the right way. What? What do you mean? It's just a big circle. It's fine. So Jacques Peru? Duke Manuel Godoy. I'll eventually remember where we're at. <laughs> oh, must be right here. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I was worried about you, my son. Uh, how did it go with Miss Adams? Here we sounds. I don't know. I don't trust him. <laughs> the end justifies the means. He's been in the dust. That doesn't make sense. It could have been worse. Let's say that Miss Adams will remember it for a couple of days. What? <laughs> did you not intervene? <laughs> oh my gosh, not. we're horrible. What did you want me to do? That thug could have snapped me in half in two seconds. So, we're you so prefer horrible. to let that fragile young lady take a beating rather than risk getting slapped around a bit yourself? I mean, you didn't even Mr. go in the room, though. Your mother would not have been proud. Okay. Listen, Next time it happens, join me instead of hiding behind the door. If you're going to talk big, back it up. You should be ashamed. I will pray for your soul, my son. <laughs> my son, I have another problem. I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the home? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Good thing we didn't open it. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you, Luis. Now give me one second, please. I don't know if I should trust you, though. I can't imagine what would have happened if would I hadn't trust added him? this name to the list. Mm -hmm. Please, be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night. I'm just gonna follow him for a second here. No, I can't do anything. Okay, back to bed. Whew. I'm exhausted. I better go to bed. I'll search my room tomorrow. If mother stayed here right before me, you never know. And Mortimer had better show up. Okay.
<laughs> I can't believe I let Lady Adams take a beating. Oh, oh no. But then we wouldn't find out that our mom is horrible. Okay, I think this is where I'm going to end this episode. Uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully you come back to hang out with me next time. Okay, bye!